Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna share with you something that is not Excel related.、Um, however, if you're a human resource professional, this is actually a very critical concept、uh, in the human resources domain. Or if you're just someone who's curious about money and compensation, then I would、um, uh, recommend you to keep watching. Okay, so today、uh, I'm gonna talk about.、Uh, An important framework in human resources, which is total rewards.、Um, so、uh, this is actually a concept that I learned from、um, one of my previous employer, Hey Group.、Um, so this is like the original、uh, framework chart、uh, from them,、uh, which I also copied here for your reference, and I also kind of like beautify it、uh, in. PowerPoint,、uh, but then、um, basically the concept here is that、um, when you think about compensation, when you think about as an employee, what do you get、um, as a reward for your、uh, hard work? Don't think about just the paycheck that you get from your employer biweekly or monthly. Think about、um, think about it in a total reward framework and. If you are a human resource professional or、uh, an employer, it's the same for you. Like when you think about what you can reward an employee, don't think about just the cash portion. Think about the overall framework. So,、uh, what is the framework here about?、Um, the like it is essentially、um, covering everything that、uh, you get or. Everything that employer that causes employer uh, uh, money uh, in this labor relationship. So of course, like when you look at the core part, like the 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 most inner part of the circle, it's a cash portion. So it's of course your base pay, what you get in your offer letter.、Uh, some of you might have allowance, like commute、uh, commute allowance, like. Car,、uh, car allowance or um, uh, mobile allowance,、um, some kind of allowance, and、um, uh, which is a fixed amount, usually a fixed amount, and it's a taxable income and comes with you together with a, a salary at the、um, at each of your paycheck, and also maybe you have some bonus or short term incentive, which is for example.、Uh, Your annual bonus or your project bonus. So the difference between short term and long term is usually if if the bonus like if the period for the performance for the bonus is less than a year, then it's usually a short term bonus.、Um, if it's greater than a year,、um, usually like say three to five years, then it's a long term incentive. So cash portion is pretty much anything you can monetize or getting hand in cash. Within a period of one year, and then on top of that, if you want to enlarge your、uh, framework, the next concept you would、um, face is a total direct compensation. So this is where you might get stock options like restricted stock units、um, or other type of long-term incentive like profit sharing. So, if you are a software、um, engineer working in a startup,、um, or working in the Silicon Valley, like I'm pretty sure you are quite familiar with the stock concept.、Um, Long-term incentives are also commonly offered for、uh, senior management or executives to、uh, not only make sure they、uh, stay with the company and they are compensated.、Um, Uh, in for a long term performance, but also to ensure that、uh, their rewards has a close relationship to the financial performance of the company, which means that if the performance is great, then they get greater in、uh, income or compensation in、um, in a longer period period of time, usually like three to five years. So this is the second layer for the total reward, and then if you Uh, and then actually, both of those two parts are more、um, tangible, which means that their cash, like essentially at the end of the year, their cash that you can see in hand. If you go above one more layer, which is like a greater circle, then you would see a concept of total remuneration. In this bucket,、uh, we would include 
benefits, which includes your vacation, your leave days, parental leave, bereavement leave, uh, the insurance that the company pays for you, the pension that com- company ch- uh, co- um, contributes for you. Uh, or it might in, uh, include some perks in lieu of cash, which, for example, the company may offer you a car or the company may pay for your education, for your master, for our work relevant course, or pay for your membership at a club or at a professional association. So, or maybe even like a um, fitness club. So those are the things that most of the time you wouldn't see them as um, a cash uh allowance like they're either days off for you or something that the company just pays for you you don't you don't need to you wouldn't see the cash uh, but then you enjoy the benefit of it like for example for the car the company does not give you a car allowance but then you have a company car and they can drive around so that is the kind of um, benefit that causes company money um, and but you don't have you and you enjoy you enjoy uh, the advantage out of it, uh, but you don't get cash in hand. So this part is actually quite also quite important. And what I found from my experience is like when people think about um, uh, turnover, when people think about accepting a new opportunity, uh, most of the time they only think about the cash portion, um, which is like the tangible part of your pay. And they don't really pay a lot of attention to this part, uh, which is like more close uh, to an intangible part because they're not cash. But then honestly, if you actually calculate and analyze the value for those perks, like most of the time you'll be surprised. And my implication for you is that when you think when you make a career transition decision, do take those um, benefits into consideration into your calculation of the total offer package, and then see if you are truly better off there. Okay, so that's a third layer for the total reward framework, and the the most outward circle for it. Um, is also the most intangible or something that people tend to overlook um, when they think about uh, compensation or remuneration from their employer, which is the total rewards. So this is a part which includes, for example, your work-life balance. For example, does your company allow you to work from home? Um, Or something like growth opportunities, something like Does your company have international projects opportunities? Does your company offer you challenging and interesting projects? Um, Does your company have flexible work time arrangements? So um, what I found that like this is a trend that has been increasingly important for um, for organizations nowadays. Like I think, for example, I think for uh, uh, Amazon, they claim that they offer unlimited uh, time off for uh, for people, and then uh, they encourage people to um, balance work and life. So that is like one evidence of how companies, organizations are trying to uh, think in the total rewards um, package instead of just focusing on the cash part. Um, so. That is the overall concept for it. But then uh, let's say if you are a human resource professional or if you are an employer, what is the implication for this framework for you? Um, That uh, will actually come to something like um, a total compensation or total reward statement. So this is something that I, this is a sample statement that I provide uh, that I have provided uh, on my website. You can go to my website for um, a copy of it. But then essentially what I'm trying to do here is that instead of letting, like as an employer, uh, instead of um, instead of just let your employee know how much salary they're getting or how much and how much incentive they earned at the end of the year, produce a total compensation or total reward uh, total reward statement and let them know what you have paid for them as a total package. For example, in this compensation um, statement, you can see that 
uh, for the insurance, the employer actually contributes this much for the employee's medical. And then uh, this is what the employee uh, employer pays and actually if you calculate the value for it it can be over uh, ten thousand dollars or even like a hundred thousand uh, dollars for the employee because this is a cost but then for employee because you don't pay for this part like so you need to think of the value for what your employee uh, for what your employer pay for you and that's quite uh, some amount and then it's the same for uh, pension or retirement plan what is your employer's contribution for you and all the money are something that you can benefit from uh, after your retirement and also how much is your company paying for car Lawrence paying for educational assistance fitness membership or anything else that you offer in the company what's the value of that and then when you look at the total amount here actually you can see for this person, for this sample person, for example, the total cash portion is 110. But then when you add everything that the company pays for you, it's actually almost 130, which means that uh, the insurance, the benefit and pension part is almost like 10 to 20% of your total package. And this part, if you as an employer or as a HR professional does not highlight for your employee, they will probably forget about it easily because everyone takes a lot of things for granted. And this is something that um, I would always recommend my clients to pay attention to and highlight for their employee whenever possible. Uh, for other things like work-life balance or growth opportunity, of course, like it's fair that uh, it's really hard to monetize the value for those rewards. But then what you can always do is that in your annual employee satisfaction uh, survey, uh, try to uh, emphasize what you have provided for them or try to look for their feedback on what they um, what they enjoy having right now and what they wish to have in the future. So, uh, so as a conclusion, as an, um, for both employee and employer, when you think about your pay from the company or organization, it is very important that you think beyond total cash. It, it is always recommended that you think uh, for, uh, at, in the framework of total rewards and think of what you as an employee benefit from the company for those four layers or you as an employer, what you can offer to your employee in those four layers. Okay, so that is everything I want to share with you today, and uh, I hope that you enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment, and I will talk to you very soon.